Morning everybody, it's Mark from Don Amot Leisure Kingdom over here at Hilton. Uh, this morning I have for you a Bailey Pegasus 2013 GT65 Genoa. So I'm going to show you around. So it's got the Alco ATC hitch. At the front there aren't any opening cupboards but there are storage lockers on either side and they've got the little drop vent in. That means if you're carrying anything like additional batteries or small gas bottles, if there is a leak, all the uh, gases will sink through the bottom so they won't be harmful. You've got an e-move motor mover, fridge vents and then in there it's the gas locker and you've got space Ooh. for two bottles so you can see that in there. So you can have one connected and one spare. Just here is your water filler, boiler vent and then that is your toilet cartridge so your cassette cartridge is in there and that's the filler for the flush on the back you've got your support handles round on this side we've got hab door with a fly net so a good size hab door then you've got the locker just here where inside there will sit your leisure battery and that's where you would plug your hookup lead in and then there we have a gas point so that's an external barbecue point so that's nice it's far enough away from the habitation door as well if you're using that to power a gas barbecue don't use longer than a three meter length of hose or it will lose uh, some of the oomph you need to get your uh, gas barbecue working properly you can see at the top you've got a uh, digital television aerial and it's got nice alloy wheels on so going inside just inside the hab door you can see you've got a freestanding table so you can use that inside or out down in the front of the van you've got radio cd player speakers at the front lots and lots of cupboards cupboards and storage space all the way across and then you've got this real big front window there are stoppers there as well so when you put the blind up fly net will stop there and the blackout blind only comes yay for that's why you can get to the window but then right down at the bottom here you'll see there is a secondary blackout blind as well so it isn't just one there's two so in summer if it's warm outside you can have those pulled together keep the window open it'll stop all the creepy crawlers from coming through curtains slide and close over these small windows at the side that's got blackout blind and fly net there is two and in this caravan you've got two 12 volt tv sockets so you can have television running off the 12 volt system if you aren't hooked up so if you're sitting on the driveway or something or just a little bit of wild camping and you've also got a 240 socket at the front and in the kitchen area so as long as you're hooked up to the electric and it's turned on the television if it's compatible will work off the 12 volt system or the 240. These sofas at the front pull together and make a, a, a big double bed. So you can have it as two singles because they are long enough. One, this side is longer than this one slightly. I'd probably fit on there to be honest, uh, but you can turn it into one big double bed as well. And you've got this nice skylight in the roof as well, where you also have fly nets and blackout blinds. You've got fly nets and blackout blinds on all of the roof lights that run all the way through the van. So the bathroom, kitchen, and the living space. Talking to kitchen, we've got three-way fridge freezer so it runs off gas 12 volt or the electric hookup and you've got two more power points and a little bit of storage three ring gas hob with an electric hot plate again lots and lots of storage cupboards at the top and the nice thing about this being a two berth is you've got a separate oven and a grill so cooking dinners won't be a problem you've got the whale filler that the caravan comes with so that's your water pump so you need an aqua roll that sits outside you fill with water and it pulls the water straight through into the tap and then you've got a really nice size sink as well and lots of storage lots and lots of storage actually um the heating system is a whale heater so it's a combi heating system so it runs off the gas and the electric and you've got vents in the kitchen area under the sofas and also in the bathroom so it balances the temperature in the caravan nicely all the way through so it's nice and warm if you're using it this sort of early in the season or late on when it gets a bit colder at night time you've also got microwave when you are traveling with a caravan as we've done please take the glass bottom plate out of a microwave the last thing you want to happen is that to fall out land on the top smash and break and then you end up not being able to use your microwave when you're away you've also got a couple of little extra bits 
chopping board and draining board for the sink lots of storage and again more three pin sockets into the bathroom we go we have again uh, the vents at the bottom so it's heated as well and then nice big storage cupboard and you've got your rail at the top there as well so if you've got any items you need to hang up you can do vanity mirror in the corner nice little storage cupboard toilet tucked away in the corner but there's lots and lots of space and just to give you an idea so i'm not going to disclose my weight but i'm six foot one and i'm not a little lad and i can fit in the to in the shower cubicle really really easily the nice thing with bailey's in the end uh, bathroom it's a decent size as well so you've got this changing room separate toilet nice size shower unit lots and lots of light coming through it's private as well because you've got blackout blind you've also got a fly net in here and if it's late on in the day your electric runs all the way through as well uh weight wise if you'd like to follow me If you look on the plate here you will see you've got the smaller weight which is called your mass in running order so when the caravan's empty and standing as it is today with nothing in 1159 kilogram and then your maximum total permissible laden mass which basically is the allowed weight that, that you when you've got all your items that you're carrying inside 1286 so the difference between that number and that number is what you can carry on the caravan when you're traveling the door is also a barn door so it splits in two so if you've got pets small children people you don't want to escape <laughs> you can